Have you ever felt deeply empathetic, yet prefer solitude? If this resonates with you, you may identify with a unique breed of individuals known as the wounded lone wolf empath. This term encapsulates a unique blend of traits, profound empathy and emotional sensitivity, paired with a penchant for solitude and self-reliance. Wounded lone wolf empaths often bear the scars of past trauma or emotional betrayal. These painful experiences can leave a lasting imprint, leading them to retreat into the comforting embrace of solitude. Their heightened sensitivity, a defining trait of an empath, becomes a double-edged sword. While it enables them to deeply understand the emotions of others, it can also make them more susceptible to emotional harm. The complexities of their inner world, the dance between their emotional sensitivity and their desire for solitude, can be a challenging terrain to navigate. Yet, it is this very interplay of sensitivity and solitude that gives birth to the wounded lone wolf empath. But what really defines a wounded lone wolf empath? Let's delve into the unique characteristics of these individuals. Topping the list are past wounds. These are often the result of trauma or emotionally challenging experiences, especially those related to betrayal or manipulation. These wounds etch deep lines into the empath's soul, fostering a distrust of vulnerability and prompting a retreat into the safety of solitude. Next, we have hypervigilance. An empath's heightened sensitivity to emotions can morph into a state of constant alertness following emotional harm. The ceaseless scanning for potential dangers, the perpetual guard against emotional harm can be incredibly draining. This exhaustion often fuels their desire for isolation. This brings us to the third characteristic, self-protection. Those bearing the weight of emotional wounds often develop a strong protective instinct. This instinct manifests as a preference for solitude, a self-imposed shield to safeguard their emotional well-being and ward off the risk of re-traumatisation. But it's not all about defence mechanisms. Wounded lone wolf empaths are marked by their inner strength and resilience. Having navigated the rough waters of emotional pain, they develop a deep understanding of themselves and their needs. This self-awareness often gives birth to self-sufficiency and resourcefulness, further reinforcing their preference for solitude. Nevertheless, despite their inclination for solitude, these individuals retain their capacity for deep and meaningful connections. They are selective in their relationships, drawn towards individuals who are trustworthy, emotionally mature, and respect their need for space. So, it's a complex interplay of traits. Past wounds lead to hypervigilance, which in turn spurs a protective instinct for solitude. Yet, within this solitude, they cultivate inner strength and resilience, leading to selective but profound connections with others. Their journey is one of strength and resilience, a testament to their inner fortitude. However, their journey is not without challenges. The wounded lone wolf empath navigates a unique path marked by obstacles that require understanding and compassion. Let's delve into these challenges to better comprehend their experience. First, there's the paradox of loneliness and isolation. Despite their preference for solitude, it's not uncommon for these individuals to face feelings of loneliness. Solitude is a choice, but isolation can often feel like an imposed condition, a consequence of their protective instincts and heightened sensitivity. Next, we have emotional overwhelm. Their heightened emotional sensitivity, while being a significant part of their empathic nature, can be a double-edged sword. The process of constantly absorbing and processing the emotions of others can be incredibly draining. This, coupled with their instinctive hypervigilance, can lead to emotional exhaustion, making even the simplest of interactions a potential minefield of emotional triggers. Then there's the challenge of misunderstood motivations. Their need for solitude can be misinterpreted by others as aloofness, or worse, indifference. This misunderstanding can create a rift in relationships, making it difficult for the wounded lone wolf empath to connect with others in a meaningful way. Lastly, the spectre of self-doubt and an inner critic often looms large. Bearing the scars of past wounds can lead to a harsh inner voice, one that questions their worth and amplifies their insecurities. This self-doubt can be a significant roadblock, hindering their journey towards self-acceptance and inner peace. Indeed, the path of a wounded lone wolf empath is fraught with challenges, yet understanding these obstacles is crucial. It's not about pity or trying to fix them. 
It's about acknowledging their struggles, offering support, and most importantly, respecting their unique journey. In their solitude, they find strength. In their sensitivity, they find depth. And in their self-reliance, they find resilience. Each challenge they face is a testament to their courage and determination to protect their emotional well-being, even if it means walking a path less travelled. Recognising these challenges is the first step towards understanding and supporting the wounded lone wolf empath. Their journey may be marked by trials, but with understanding and empathy, we can help illuminate their path one step at a time. But challenges are just opportunities for growth in disguise. The wounded lone wolf empath, just like any of us, faces trials, yet they are equipped with a unique toolkit to navigate these. A crucial tool is the ability to build supportive connections. Yes, they prefer solitude, but it doesn't exclude the importance of a trusted, understanding network. Then there's self-care, a diverse practice ranging from a peaceful walk in nature to a calming meditation session. It's about nurturing their emotional well-being, giving them the space to recharge and regain their balance. Next up, emotional regulation techniques. These offer a way to manage the intense emotions they often experience, turning potential overwhelm into a wellspring of understanding and empathy. And let's not forget self-compassion and self-acceptance. These two are the pillars of their journey. By acknowledging their unique strengths and silencing the inner critic, they cultivate a sense of peace and acceptance. By implementing these strategies, wounded lone wolf empaths can navigate their unique journey with resilience and grace. The journey of the wounded lone wolf empath is a unique one marked by strength, resilience and profound emotional depth. This journey is a testament to the human spirit's incredible ability to endure, adapt and grow. Born of past wounds and emotional betrayals, the wounded lone wolf empath retreats into solitude, not as an act of defeat, but as an act of self-preservation and self-love. Their heightened emotional sensitivity, while a source of exhaustion and overwhelm, is also a powerful tool for deep connection and understanding. Their preference for solitude is not a rejection of others, but a selective approach to relationships, fostering connections that are truly meaningful, respectful and nurturing. Remember, each wounded, lone wolf empath carries within them an intricate tapestry of experiences, emotions and strengths. Their journey deserves respect, understanding and support. Their unique gifts of sensitivity and strength enrich our world in immeasurable ways. If you are a wounded lone wolf empath, remember, your journey is valid, your experience is important and you are not alone.